you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Good. So, second question here. Why is it no longer important to get your website to rank number one on Google? I mean, how many pages of search results do you really own? And do you control all that content that is found there? Well, I think that's, it's a little bit of a trick question, the way we have it here, because why is it no longer important to get your website to rank number one is right. one of the first things we want to say, because there's so much content, like finding these questions out on the internet, or videos that you have, or audios that you have. They may all be on your website, but we don't necessarily need your website to rank, because that's a generic. That's that covers many different topics within your website and you want to have each specific thing to be found and ranked as high as it can be. Well, and I think there's another aspect to that too. I mean, we've matured in terms of the web and I think people are educated consumers at this point. So your website is your information where, you know, people are expecting you to be, it's like going out on a first date. They're expecting you to be on your best behavior. Yes. But really, the power of the internet at this point is all the other information coming from multiple sources. What do you look like on other people's websites? What are you being, you know, what's being said about you? What's being talked about? What are you doing on social media? So people are getting a much richer picture if you're dominating the entire search result with lots of sources of information. Your website's still important, but in some ways, it's the one people are going to be most skeptical about because you've you've prepackaged yourself in and put your best foot forward there. And you've asked how many pages of search results do you own? And that's, that's an important point. one, right? Because it needs to be content that you control. Because if somebody else controls a lot of the content about you, they could go in and change that. They could get ranked high, right, in the res search results and then put some negative material about you. You need to own a lot of the material that you find. Right. And that it kind of goes along with what I was saying before. You want to be on lots of different sites. So how do you both own something and have it be on other people's sites? I mean, that's part of the work that we teach people to do here on Expert Marketing Academy. And it's what we do as consultants, too, is create the content ourselves, but then make sure that we syndicate it and propagate it out onto lots of other people's sites. So you get the best of both worlds. It's your content. You created the message. Right. So you control it, but you don't have to control the website that it's on. Exactly. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample, and we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank you.